back to Reactions That Rock. I am Seth, a former rock and roll radio DJ. Now just, I guess I'm into bald dudes. I don't know. No, seriously. <laughs> That's, I'm not into bald dudes. I like my dudes to have full heads of hair and not be dudes. But seriously, that's a different story for a different time. I'm just going to fire up this song. I've been told I talk too much. And if I, you let me go, I will never shut up. So I just got to mention ragsthatrock.com. That's my cool website where you can buy all sorts of awesome swag. None of which I'm actually wearing right now. But I guess I do have like, where's where that? Like a logoed beanie. Look, how, look, at, look at the work on that. That is embroidered. That's awesome, right? Just in time for the weather to stop being so cold, I've got a beanie for you. I've also got a beanie with profanity, so you can check out the website and see if you want to buy some swear words to wear on your head. Really impress your parents with that one. They will love you, and they will know they made the right choice in keeping you. Oh, sorry, not getting there. Anyway, okay, I'm going to shut up. I told you I can tangent, and tangent I did. Seriously, ragsatrock.com. Check it out. All the cool kids are doing it. Free shipping through the entire month of March. 2024, if you use the promo code MADNESS at the checkout box, it'll remind you about that when you go to the site, too. Link is down there in the description, and without further ado, the mouth is shut, the Ronnie Radke, and the falling in reverse are on, and here we go. I was told to check this out by, it was either you in the comments or the voices in my head, and the song is conveniently called Voices in My Head. The vo Voices in my head keep on telling me to pray Cause I'm spinning like a carousel circle in the train Hit the bottom of the bottle, I don't wanna feel the pain But that is all I got for now, I don't wanna talk about the voices in my head keep on begging me to stay If I pull the trigger now, then the demons go away And I know my time is coming, so there ain't no time to waste So that is all I got for now, I don't wanna talk about The voices in my head keep telling me to choose a side It's heaven or hell, like it's do or die I'm a sad boy, you know better I'm assuming these are the voices in his head. We got like the the third eye conscience consciousness kind of dude Confucius version where he's like floating. I'm assuming that's one of the people in his head, maybe like the like I don't know. I don't know. I'm just gonna let it ride out. But I'm already seeing two versions of Ronnie in this song, and knowing the art he does, I wouldn't be surprised to find that he like there. He's gonna show like forty different versions of himself that are all. I don't know. I don't know. I hate, I shouldn't guess these things. I should just let it ride out. But I, uh, I thought I was going to be a detective when I grew up. True story. I thought I was going to be like a private investigator because those were all the movies I watched until I realized that all private investigators do is sit in their little like 1992 Mercury Le Sabres and wait to watch people carrying materials at construction sites when they're on workers' comp claims. And that sounds boring as shit. So I didn't do it. This is a lot more fun. Now, I don't want to talk about the voices in my head keep telling me to choose a side. It's heaven or hell, like it's do or die. I'm a sad boy, you know better. Please don't make this last forever. The voices in oh. my head keep telling me I'm not okay. Oh. It's feeling like a hurricane in my brain. The clouds are tied back the third. Please don't make this last forever. Like a suicide I'm a lost boy, you know better Please don't make this last forever Voices in my head keep telling me that I'm insane And maybe I'm a little bit that won't change Or clouds or ties back my third Please don't make this last forever Okay, uh, so he's killing himself Or different versions of himself over and over again That is fun, not the direction I thought we were going here, and I'm really, really enjoying it. Well, kind of, I, I had a feeling we were going to see multiple Ronnies, but not murdering himself, so I, I kind of, I'm, I'm here for that. I totally dig it. Secondly, and I'm, I'll talk more about it when this video is done, I really dig the cadence of this song, the, the, the vocal structure of this song. I really, really dig. It's kind of that rock rap hybrid but it's it's got a little bit of upbeat into the chorus um and i just kind of like it because it's like punchy and sing-songy at the same time and uh, that works for me too in my head 
keep on telling me I'm cursed I'm paranoid, I don't wanna make it any worse We're all gonna die, but first things first I'ma take the world with me when they put me in the dirt The voices in my head keep on telling me I'm cursed I'm paranoid, I don't wanna make it any worse We're all gonna die, but first things first I'ma take the world with me when they put me in the dirt Move! Oh yeah, no, 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 no. We're watching that again. Um, okay. Um, it's a little dubstepy, and I'm so sorry to ever use that word, especially with the Y at the end of it. But I, I love it. It serves the song. It serves the video. It's that. It's there's so many different layers to the sound that's happening in my head right now. Um. I love the industrial vibe to it. Yeah, we know the laptops thing, but they they work. I love it. It's an it's an instrument. Nobody bats an eye when a rock band brings out a harmonica or bongo drums or when nine guys in a band play one instrument on stage and they do like the, there's one guitar with 30 different friggin' hands on it. Yet laptops and the whole friggin' rock media world goes insane. I don't want to talk about it. Not just that I'm losing my mind and I don't want to talk about it, lyrics, but I really don't want to go down the whole laptop rabbit hole, but it the, it's an instrument. It works. I love it. I love the dubstepy sound there. Um, it's crunchy. It's it's industrial. It's mechanical. And it so totally works. And I really just needed to see this ass kick and kill everybody scene again and hear that noise pumping through my... I'm going to turn the bass up. I got a little slide right back here on these headphones. Bass up to 11. And let's just fire that back up. Die, but first things first. I'm going to take the world with me when they put me in the dirt. Move! Oh yeah, that is so good. You know what I really, really like? And I don't know, if, I'm sure this wasn't necessarily done on purpose, but it feels like mildly tr musically tribute, uh, a mildly musical tribute. Um, at that cool part right before, you know, with the breakdown, when he goes, move. Uh, it really kind of reminds me of old corn when you, you're getting heavy and heavy and then it kind of picks up and then it goes, go. Or I guess, I guess Slipknot does that too. But, um, it really kind of has that old kind of um, throwback vibe to the old like new metal breakdowns, and I'm digging it. I love it. I know not everybody's going to agree with me. Totally cool. Tell me why I'm an idiot down there, or tell me why I'm a genius. I like those comments too, but seriously, um, I am at a point now, and I hate that it took me so long to get on board with this. Um, Falling in Reverse is not the band I thought they were, and I'm so totally happy to admit that. I was under the impression that it was just going to be more like mid 2000s screamo. And yes, I've seen some of the older videos where it's close. Um, but I really thought it was just going to be kind of like sad sack emo poor me stuff. And it's so much more enjoyable and relatable than that. And it's art, the music, the videos, uh, the way the songs are structured, the way that everything's put together, the layers, the depth, all of it is artistic. I'm digging it. I think I said it last time uh, that Ronnie Radke is a friggin' artist, and I stand by that. Um, 
it's enjoyable to watch it's enjoyable to listen to um i totally get it and i'm so mad at myself that it took me this long to come to the party uh because this is a good party i, I this is a party i want to be at not this is not the party where you call your mom at seven o'clock for a ride home this is the party where you wake up in the bushes next to somebody you just met that like five in the morning two hours before you have to be to work that's the kind of party and i'm totally here for it all consensual party of course don't get me wrong but still it's a party and i love it um i just can't say enough good it's art um and like i said i know i'm, I'm not gonna harp on the laptops every time they're used as an instrument i've got zero problems with that it adds to the song it adds to the storytelling and here's the deal um there are a lot of purists out there who think that you know who have no problem or who complain about like a laptop but at the same time i hate to tell you how many uh microchips and you know stuff go into things like just distortion pedals sound boards the amount of work that audio engineers do for just a normal straight laced guitars and bass band on stage would blow your mind and i don't see microphones Nobody has a problem with a microphone being an instrument, do they? But seriously, uh, that's got like wires and crap wrapped up into it. It's got effects pedals. That's not just being, it's not like somebody's singing through a megaphone or a rolled up piece of paper. So technology is technology. It has its hand in music. It's always had its hand in music. It will continue to have its hand in music. And I said I wasn't going to do this, and here I am again. I, I get hot and bothered by it, in case you can't tell. Um, because we are in a post uh 1920s charleston world where you know everything has to be mu music should be played through the phonograph no we're, we're the world has moved on from that anything you can use as an instrument is an instrument okay and that includes computers that includes your freaking lap that includes spoons like let's let's go back to like the day and time when people were playing spoons, or I don't know if you've ever seen it, but you can take like a saw, like you cut trees down with, and a violin bow, and you can bend it, and you can make noise. And I'm sorry, if that crap is an in instrument, uh, laptops all day long for me. Seriously. Okay. Rant over. We're done. Thank you so much for watching. I cannot wait to check out another song. I, I think I'm going to dig into something live next. Um, maybe something old. I don't know. But there will be more falling in reverse. I love it every time I fire it up. It does pull me back to my rock roots. And if you look at this channel, there's been a whole lot of not rock on here, which is oddly appealing to me, too. And I'm not sure what's happening. Maybe it's a midlife crisis. But still, thank you so much for watching. You know what to do with those thumbs, the subscribe button, the notification button, any other buttons you feel like push and go ahead, have Adam see what happens. Yeah, I was being dirty. Okay, thank you so much for watching. I will catch you on the next one.